A lot of people dabble with this occult shit because they think they gonna have some type of psychedelic trip or they wanna have some type of psychedelic experience or some shit like that. They wanna see entities and talk to different entities or spirits or energies and different things like that. Just to say, ooh, I talked to such and such. Ooh, I seen such and such. Okay, what did you get from it? What did you learn from it? What do you know? Did you receive light? Did you get enlightenment from it? Or did you just have a psychedelic experience that you can't explain? You can describe it, but you don't know what the hell you just experienced. You don't know the symbolism. You don't know what it symbolized. You don't know what anything meant. You just know you seen some type of entity or image that you may be familiar with, may not be familiar with, something or someone you may think highly of. <laughs> and it talked to you. It spoke to you. I seen it. It was sitting right there in front of me. Okay, but what did you get from it? Do you just want to have a psychedelic trip or do you want light? Do you want enlightenment? What are you getting from that? I'm talking about astral traveling and going to astral dimensions. Okay, what are you coming back with? What light are you coming back with? What information, what knowledge are you coming back with? If you're astral traveling and you coming back just as dumb as you were before you travel, you're jerking off. You holding yoga positions, all of these contortionist ass yoga positions <laughs> for an hour. And after that, you don't receive any type of enlightenment. You have this little false sense of uh, kundalini <laughs> eruption or kundalini vibration, which is really just like a little oxytocin high that you that you get because you just did something for a long duration of time. So you feel like you have to feel some type of way. But what do you know? What light did you get from it? If you did all of that, and you came back just as dumb as you was before you held that contortionist position, you're jerking off. So you got a lot of mental masturbation going on. People talking about wanting to experience things or wanting to see things because they think it's cool, it's trendy, they think it's cute. Oh, they did it, I want to do it too. I want to try That shit might not be for you Sit your happy eager ass down Why don't you focus Study Do your work Focus on your work Master your craft See where every art there's a science See everybody's intrigued by the art But they don't want to take the time to learn the science So they want to set up shrines They want to set up altars They want to feed different entity energies you know, they want to say little names, little phrases, summon different things, different spirits, just so they can feel good or have a full sense of accomplishment. But where is that getting you? What is that doing for you? How are you benefiting from that? And do you know the science behind what you're doing? Are you doing it from a superstitious perspective? Because a lot of you are functioning just like religious people do. Or people that's caught up in religious dogma. You do these shrines, you do these altars, this has to be set this way. Or the spirits will get angry. You can't put this one with this one because they'll get mad. They'll punish you for it. See, you're sounding crazy as hell. Like these things really have some type of power or control over you. They only do if you allow them to. If you forfeit that, if you give that up, then so be it. But other than that, you have the power. You're in control. If you want to get into this shit, do it for real reasons. Be authentic. Be real about it. Don't do it just because you want to have some type of psychedelic, some type of psychedelic trip or some type of uh, oxytocin high. Some some um false sense of um kundalini activation or a false sense of enlightenment enlightenment go for the real thing be authentic if you're gonna do this do it for light receive true light all of the false light all of the perversions 
all the distractions. Don't get caught up in that. Everything comes in due time. Now, I'm not knocking nobody and I'm not saying that, you know, people that do certain work don't work with certain energies or work with certain entities and things like that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that's not for everybody. And everybody who witnesses someone else or sees someone else do these things need to realize that this is a process. It's not something you're just going to jump into overnight. You know, just because you see somebody doing something don't mean you're going to mimic it or be able to fake it until you make it. Some shit you got to be for real about. You got to come from the heart with this shit. Got to use your heart and soul intellect. You know, stop feeding your arrogance. Stop feeding your ignorance. Learn the science, be learn the science behind the art that you admire. Know what it is that you're dealing with. Don't get caught up in trends or doing what other people do. Because a lot of this magic shit become trendy. So you got a lot of people, you know, practicing magical masturbation. They ain't really benefiting or doing nothing with this magic. They just masturbating with it. You know, they just do it because they want to show off or impress other people or say that they do it or say that they know this or say that they know that. You know, so because they can call off certain names of certain entities and do different things like that, you know, invite you to their house and, you know, you see um, different offerings that they have to certain energies and um, different pictures and all these different showboat things that they do to want to show off to a person what they're doing so a person can be impressed by it or be intrigued by it asking them questions about it they really don't know the science behind it to give a real true answer but they're flattered by it this is something that just fed their arrogance this is something that catered to their physical ego you know this this is this is root chakra solar basic basic level shit or whatever you know, you're dealing with like the, 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 the sacral with the root, like the, the low things. You're dealing with the vanity and, 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 and doing things out of uh, worry about what other people think or doing things to impress other people. It's not authentic. It's not genuine. It's just a response based upon the world around you. So being caught up in that lower vibrational world, you want to attract or appeal to people or that are vibrating on that low level as opposed to climbing to a higher level. So as opposed to climbing to the solar, to the heart, we want to play around in the root and play around in the sacral. When you need to elevate and move higher than that. A lot of people don't want to get to, to the levels of where they have to let go of these different things. Because then you got to be for real with it. They want to show off, but they don't want to do the work. You can tell what they know by what they do. See, a person that knows, they know better. They know when they see something that's a fraud. Everyone is claiming that they're a healer. Everyone's claiming that they're a reader. Everyone's claiming that they have these psychic or these extra extraordinary abilities. And a lot of them are just romanticizing with the fantasy. They're hyping themselves up to believe these things. They're delusional. They want to be these things, but they don't want to put the work in to become that, that they want to be. They don't want to learn the science. They don't want to do the knowledge. They just want to look at a picture and mimic the art that they see, as opposed to learning the science, the math, the architecture behind all of the physical things that you see, all of the physical things that you admire. Because you're either doing this from physically motivated angle or you're doing this from a spiritually motivated angle. So you have to ask yourself and genuinely be honest with yourself. Are you doing this for physical reasons or are you doing this for spiritual reasons? Are you doing this for human gain or are you doing this for divine gain are you trying to add on to your divinity or are you trying to add on to your humanity 
but don't just pick up something that's a fad or a trend and do it. You got to move better. You got to move wiser than that. Don't get caught up in the illusions. Don't get caught up doing what you see the other monkeys do. Because the only thing that that'll make you is a monkey too. That's it. So, use your mind. Learn to see things for what they truly are. If you see something, don't be so quick to just go for it. Analyze what you, what, what's in front of you. Learn what you're working with. That may not be a path that's meant for you to take. Don't try and force yourself on other people's paths. Don't try and force yourself or force your foot in other people's shoes that may not be for you. You have your own shoes to fill. You have your own path to walk. Stick to it and walk it.